Remember how great it was when you were a kid, just having fun, running around, jumping, tumbling? So how could something so fun and innocent turn into something so dangerous? Eden is super independent. From the moment she was born, she started walking at nine months, potty trained herself. I coached her in soccer for two seasons. She loves ballet, gymnastics, swimming. My husband is Nicholas. We have been married for 12 years. Eden is five years old. She has an older sister. Just last year, December 23rd, Eden was doing a backbend, and I just said, hey, Eden, be careful. And I walked out of the room, and just as I walked out, Eden was on the ground, collapsed. I said, Eden, what happened? And she was just crying and crying. I just picked her up, I put Eden down, and as she was walking back to me, her legs were just weird. She just was saying, Mom, it hurts, it hurts. And she said, I feel like my feet are sleeping. I said, Eden, move your leg. She said, I can't. And I said, Eden, unbend your knee. And she said, I can't, Mom. And I picked her up and I tried to stand her and her leg just buckled and she couldn't stand. It just doesn't make any sense. My wife tells me, you know, you gotta get here fast. And then we do the MRI. She has a spinal cord contusion, and the first 24 hours is very critical. They said, we're gonna airlift her. We got to UCLA, and we were just met with just a wall of doctors. Within like 24 hours of her injury, the doctor told me she's a paraplegic. The first five days when Eden was in the ICU were very, very difficult. Alarms were always going off, her heart rate would change. It was just frightening. She would just violently just shake and shiver in her bed because they needed to lower her core temperature. She was hooked up everywhere. She had a catheter, she had a thermometer in her rectum, and she was so scared. We could really touch her, we couldn't hug her. Eden understands that she's in a wheelchair and that her legs don't work, but the way that we're helping her deal with it is just that her legs are asleep. It was just unbelievable. You just, I mean, it was just a backbend. We're now joined via Skype by the Holsher family, Eden, her sister Isabella, and parents Nick and Kylie. You know, I know you can't be here today in Baltimore for some intensive physical therapy, but how is she doing and, and, and what is the, the prognosis going forward? Um, she's doing really awesome. She walks on the treadmill, she goes in a stander and rolls around. She has... <laughs> she showed us herself. I guess she's getting better. I mean, you guys have some beautiful, and I have to say, like, they're kind of shy, Isabella and Eden. <laughs> and you know what? We know you live near the beach, so Healthline Medical built you a beach wheelchair so you can enjoy the beach while you recover. And Ian, Mattel is giving you a thousand dollars worth of toys, games, and Barbies. What do you think? You love arts and crafts too, so we reached out to our friends <laughs> at Joanne's and they're donating $1,000 for you to stock up on art supplies. But that's not all. Oh my because God. Because Hasbro Coming. is giving you another $1,000 worth of toys and games for you to enjoy when you get back home. So Eden, what do you think? Thank you all for joining us. We'll be right back.